I'm Pamela of Pamela's Work, and this is how you play the game. Keep on the Watch is a pretty fast-paced game. It's a lot like Speed. My sister and I used to play Speed when we were little. She was a lot faster than me, and she usually won. But I got a chance to play this game with her, and it was very confusing for her. Uh, the cards that I'm playing with, all the uh, symbols in the corner are circles, which uh, one of my cousins made a very good suggestion. She said, to make the shapes in the corner the same as the person. So when you get your decks, you'll notice that the suns are diamonds in the corner and the wives are circles in the corner. The husbands are squares in the corner and the daughters are hexagons in the corner. So when you're holding your cards in your hand like so, you can still tell who they are or if they're father, sons, daughters, wives what have you and that will make it a little easier for you to know which card you want to play next this game is beautiful because you don't have to know anything about the Bible you don't have to know anything about the characters on the cards so this is also a great game to help familiarize you with the deck of course you'll be playing it so fast you won't necessarily see the actual names of the people but it will help you to um, get used to the fact that various shapes have a particular meaning behind each one. The squares are the patriarchs, circles are the wives, diamonds are the sons, and the hexagons are the daughters. So for Keep on the Watch, this is the order of the cards that you play them. You can put a patriarch on a wife, a wife on a daughter, a daughter on a son, a son on a patriarch, and back the other way. Patriarch on a son, son on a daughter, daughter on a wife, wife on a... Just pay attention to the shapes in the middle or in the corners. I know on these cards they're not, they're all circles, but you'll see when you have your deck that the corners are the same shape as the center. So just remember the spouses can play on each other, the siblings can play on each other, a mother can play on her daughter or vice versa, and then a father can play on his son. But a father cannot play on his daughter, and a mother cannot play on his son. So that's the order in which the cards can be played onto one another. Ready? Go! So, if you've just got two people playing, there's only going to be two cards in the center to play on. If you have four people playing, there's going to be four cards in the center that you can play on. You can play on any pile. You just may have to make sure you stay in that order. So, I could play this on him, or I could play it on one of her. It's up to me. And whoever gets there first gets to leave the card. And then you just continue playing until you're out of cards. But you want to play as fast as you possibly can because everybody is playing at the same time trying to get their cards out there. You can only hold seven cards in your hand at a time, but you can constantly be feeding your hand from the stack that you have for the cards that you have in your hand. So I hope you have fun playing the game and please send me an email or DM me on Instagram and let me know how things are going, uh, any ideas that you may have or just how much fun you had and how much you like it because hopefully I hope you like it. Tong, 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 paki, tong, ki, tong, ali, mango, sadaga, ma, laki, up, ma, sarap, ma, heat up, ma, huli, sad, bad, cut, nang,